So you're fluent in XAML, you've mastered all of your MVVMs, but still your data binding doesn't work inside a list view, collection view, or carousel view? Ah, uh, what's up with that? In this video, I'll show you what it's all about and how you can fix it. In this video, we'll be talking about data binding scopes. So when you're using MVVM, it doesn't matter if it's in code or in XAML. Um, I'm going to use XAML in, in this video. But um, whenever you do that, you have your binding context set to your page, or you can do it by, to any element. It uh, doesn't really matter, but most usually you'll do it in, uh, for a full page, and you'll have your view model backing that. And whenever you go into a list view or a collection view or a carousel view, basically any view that has an item source, um, suddenly your data binding scope changes. So then if you find yourself wanting to implement a delete command, for example, um, then you're stuck because suddenly you're invoking that command on the actual item in that list instead of on your view model. Um, I will show you all the details uh, right here on screen. So here we are on Visual Studio for Mac where I have the sample app that we will be using for this video already running. Um, it shows you a list of Brooklyn Nine-Nine characters. If you don't know Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it's a show. It's hilarious. Well, I think it's hilarious. Um, and here we have got a couple of characters, Jake, Amy, Rosa, and a couple of more. Uh, it's not all of them, but it will get the point across. And well, this is not the most exciting part. This is just a list view. And here we have the delete action. So that's what it's all about. But if we go to Visual Studio and we have a look at what is this app build up from, we can see here the XAML page, which is the main page. So that is this page that you're looking at. And we're just using a regular content page. It's a list view. And then inside that list view, we are using an item template. Uh, and we're using a simple built-in image cell. So that's built into Xamarin Forms. It shows you an image and some text. And in that image cell, we have this context action set up with a menu item delete. And that, that's what this video is all about, right? So we have this delete command, which is here for one item, and that doesn't work. So if we're running this and we do delete, nothing happens. So that's, that's our problem right there, right? And I'm using a list view here, but this could also be a collection view or a carousel view. Basically anything with an item source that will run into this issue when, when data binding, when you're using the wrong scope. So we can have a couple of other things here in comment. We will get to that in a little bit because that is our solution as well. But let's quickly look at our code behind here. So this is the code behind for our main page. And well, I have some things going here whenever we select an item, it does some quotes. Um, but the most important part here is on line 15, where we say binding context is main page view model. Now you might be using some kind of MVVM framework, so this might be done for you automatically, but I'm just using vanilla Xamarin forms here. So yeah, we just bind the main page view model to the binding context, and that's what we'll be using as our backing store for this page. So if we go to the main page view model, you will see that we set up a delete command. So that is the command that we want to be using, right? And in the constructor, I set up that command by just invoking the remove on a collection, uh, removing one record from, from my actual list. So the code is very simple, very elegant, very beautiful. Um, and here on the top, you can see the list of the observable collection uh, of list model called my items. And we have list models here for each of the characters, which has a title and an image. Uh, which will show you the list on the page that we just saw. Lastly, the list model, which is, well, not exciting. It just has the title and the image, uh, and that's it. That's what makes up a item in our list. Now, with what we've just seen, we can go back to the main page, and here we see the item source. So that is the binding my items, and we've set the binding context to the main page view model, right? So my items should be something in the main page view model. And if we scroll here, then we can see public observable collection, my items get set. So it's a property. And that's the thing that will act as the item source for our list view. So back to our main page here, um, list view, item source, my items. Okay, check.
that's done. And we see the list showing up, so that works. Now, whenever we go into this item template and the data template and into the image cell, this is where things are getting weird because now our scope changes because each item in my items will be of the list model, right? That we just saw, you can see it in, in the top here. Uh, so each item will be represented here in the image cell. So what happens if we go to the image cell contact actions, um, the command that we are using here, the delete command will be invoked on that one item in the list. So in this case, our list model and our list model just has a title and an image, right? It doesn't have the command, so it can be invoked here. Um, but it, 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 we could just simply create a new property here, the remove command, and, and, and it will work all the same. Uh, but that doesn't make any sense, right? Because you're not going to invoke the remove on that single entry in your list. Um, it, it's even hard or at least not very beautiful to implement the logic. Uh, in this one item to remove itself from the list. So we don't want to do that. We want to invoke that on the view model. Uh, so I've already set that up here. Our delete command is uh, right here. So we just want to call into this one, but we need to change the scope. So if we go back to the main page and I comment out this one, um, it already says in the comments, warning, not working. So do not use this um, if you come across this sample but we will be using this second one here. So we uncomment this one, and here we have that same image cell with context actions. Uh, but now our menu item is a bit more verbose, uh, as you can see right here, because for the command, we still specify the binding delete command, but what we do is we set the source. And with this source, we can say uh, reference to list of people, um, and from this source, we point to this path. So Let's start with the source. The source is a reference. So this is just a extension method in XAML. And we reference that to list of people. So let's find list of people, which is right here. So you give your component a name, um, the X name, list of people in my case. So our list view is called list of people. And that's what I reference from here. So our binding now points to uh, this list view right here. And from this list view, I'm going to use the properties binding context dot delete command. Our list view will inherit the binding context from the content page. And so we can reach into that binding context property and into the delete command. What I also could have done, uh, which works exactly the same way, is I could have named my uh, page list of people. So I could move this up here to my content page and it will still work because the reference is still going to list of people. So the reference now is our content page, but the content page still has a binding context and the binding context has a delete command because the binding context will be our main page view model and our main page view model has a delete command property. So that's all just parsed runtime and XAML engine will detect if the actual properties are there. But if you have this all in place, then it should work without a problem. So let's go to our main page. Let's put this back for now and rerun our little sample to see if it actually works. Here we go. Um, and if I delete this one now, then you will see that it actually is removed from the list because our delete command is successfully invoked on our page view model and not on the list model anymore. Now, another thing that you can do that was introduced in Xamarin Forms 4.3 is using the, let's uncomment this for a second and comment this, use the relative source. Um, so with the relative source, you can basically achieve the same thing, but now you can say uh, relative from um, this item right here, you can go through the ancestors and I want it to be of type main page view model and on that I want to invoke the delete command and there's a couple of other things that you can do with the ancestor type so have a look at the documentation the effect will be the exact same but uh, it's another way to do things and that's all there is to it now that you know you'll never forget it and you'll always get it right thank you for watching this video please like subscribe do all the things so you won't miss anything um, else that I put out there and that might be interesting to you Thank you very much and until next time.